Okay, let's talk about the antennas I use. Here was my old standby. Had this antenna up for 10 or 12 years. Diamond dual bander. 2 meters, 70 centimeters. Great, well built antenna, fiberglass, long lasting. Worked with it for years, but didn't make too many contacts on uh, 70 centimeters. So, thought I'd get something uh, just for 2 meters. So, here's how my plan started. Alright, switched to 2 meter mono bander. The old standby, the Ringo Ranger. Great performing antenna. Works very well. Maybe not as rugged built as it could be, but uh, definitely long lasting. I've had this one for over 10 years and uh, no problems. But I thought, well, that's good, but not good enough. Okay, the next plan was, I know, Let's get on six meters and two meters. I'll put this three element Cushcraft six meter antenna up and stack the Ringo Ranger on top of it. Not a bad plan. The next plan was to go with the Cushcraft 10 element two meter antenna and stack it on top of the Cushcraft three element six meter. Put that all up and it was big the boom on this antenna is 12 feet long and I suppose if you're on top of a 40 foot tower it'll look all right but it was just too big for my mounting location so on to the next plan The next plan was, well, let's just put them all up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here they all sit. I went with something else. 22 and a half feet to the base. Antenna is about 10 foot long. So 32 feet to the tip. There you have it. The Hustler G6. Yeah, yeah, uh, an eh, hour or so ought to have it up there. And I'm trying to shoot video with one hand and the mic in the other, but I'm showing the uh, radio and SWR meter on here. And it's absolutely flat at 5.2. So may change a little bit when it goes up. 
but uh, we'll see. Okay, John, thanks for coming back. W8OD. Yo, Lance, have a good one. Uh, we're going to get to Lila for lunch, but you're probably going to be busy with that, so um, 